you're not familiar, the Casimir have two plates. Put them together. And they have an attractive force. Without you doing anything, without you doing anything, they will come together. The reason for this is because there's this zero-point energy, like white noise, all around everywhere. And it's waves. And when you have two plates, certain wavelengths don't fit between the plates. Every wavelength that doesn't fit between the plates causes more pressure. Inward pressure. This inward pressure is a negative energy density. What does this mean? Sabine Hassenfelder mentions a false vacuum. False vacuum. The false vacuum is space-time. The false vacuum means there is an energy level below the lowest state. That's the idea of the false vacuum. The false vacuum says this is zero. This is absolute nothing. We take all the light and heat out of a cube of space-time. All we're left with is zero-point energy. The idea of the false vacuum says there's a true vacuum. If you remove that zero-point energy, you get to the true vacuum. The false vacuum is the vacuum that includes the zero-point energy. Now, why is this important? Because now we have the basis for our negative energy that we need for our warp drive or wormhole. Now, all negative energy is is extracting the zero-point energy. Extracting the zero-point energy is negative energy, by definition. It's a conceptual understanding. This is what people don't understand about it.